So in our first video, we're gonna cover the pull-up. First of all, a proper pull-up isn't necessarily chin to bar. You need to watch your arms. When your arm is at a 90 degree, just a pinch farther than that, you've completed a pull-up. Now, you're gonna be doing overhand grip. Underhand is more of a chin up and it's more working your biceps. With the pull-up, you're working your back. Now you saw me do weighted with a 45 pound plate, then a 25 pound plate, then body weight. If you can't even do one complete pull-up right now, I'm gonna show you how to get started to build up to being able to do body weight pull-ups and then down the road, weighted pull-ups like what you saw me doing. So to get started, we're gonna use a chair to assist us. Now when you're doing this, you're gonna hear me talk a lot in these videos about mind-muscle connection. What that means is thinking about the muscle that you're working. When you think about the muscle you're working, you're gonna feel a better workout, you're gonna feel more focus. So in this, we wanna focus on our back and our lats. You wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together as you're doing this motion. Don't focus on pulling your body weight up, it's gonna feel like a dead sinker. Focus more on squeezing your shoulder blades together. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my feet on this chair, but I'm gonna focus on squeezing my shoulder blades together, and I'm only gonna use my legs as much as necessary to get the pull-up accomplished. And then as I get stronger and stronger, I'm gonna rely less on the chair and eventually remove it completely. So you're just gonna put your toes on the chair and focus on squeezing your lats together, your shoulder blades. And again, I'm only pushing off as much as I need to. Don't let your feet do all the work. You have to uh, challenge yourself. So, now, something else also to mention real quick. I'm gonna mention a lot. Get a notebook, get a notebook, get a notebook. You gotta write down what you're doing. If you don't know what you did last week, you're not gonna know what to do this week. And after a few weeks of lifting, when you feel like you've made no progress, it's greatly beneficial to look back and say, wow, three weeks ago I couldn't even do one, now I'm doing two. So you need that notebook as motivation, track your workouts. So go ahead and give that a try. Um, if you have any questions, throw comments down below. Um, but again, you can use uh, cables also if you string a band across there, but I find the chair to be a more effective assistant device. So go ahead and uh, work on that and let me know what you think. Now for you more advanced lifters that can do this but want to increase your weight, uh, I got a tip for you. So if you can already do say five or, or let's say you can do a set of 10 with a 10 pound plate but you want to work up to doing a 45 pound plate, how you do that, do a 45 pound plate. And what I mean by that is increase the weight, lower the reps. Now. On some workouts, some exercises, it helps to start off light and then increase like bench. You wouldn't go straight to bench in 315. You'd start off at like, you know, 225 and work your way up. Sometimes that works opposite with other exercises. And for me, that's true with the pull up. I start off heavy and then decrease the weight. Now what I use is a waist belt from Dark Iron Fitness. They do not sponsor me. They have nothing to do with this video. Simply a good product. I will put the, uh, link in the description down below on the website to buy this. They have a lot of great equipment. I used to just do a chain and carabiners and that works, but when you get up to doing multiple plates, it digs into your hips. This is nice and cushioned, uh, works out awesome. I mean, I put 90 pounds on this uh, doing dips. So what you would do is put a 45 pound plate on, try to do five, or even if you can only get three, then go 25 pound plate and see how many you can do there, then go body weight, work your way down. If you can get five this week, next week go for six or seven. Again, get a notebook, write down what you're doing, start off heavy, then scale it back, and I think you're gonna see some nice improvement. So just to kind of drop this note in the middle of this video, I just wanted to more clearly explain what I mean for you advanced lifters with the increasing the weight. Let's say right now you could do 10 reps with a 10 pound plate, and you could do five with a 25 pound plate, but you've never tried a 45 before. If you try a 45, you might only get three or four reps, but then once you drop down to that 25, in comparison, it feels so much lighter, you're instantly gonna see yourself do a couple extra reps. So now you might find yourself doing eight with a 25 and 12 to 15 with a 10. So that's what the trick is here with increasing the uh, workload. You have to push yourself. So try that 45, you're not gonna get very many reps, but then you're gonna see the, the numbers you could get before instantly go up. And then again, next week, instead of doing three or four with the 45, you might be able to get four or five or six. You're gonna see that slow progression. But again, having a notebook and tracking what you're doing is key here. Uh, so that's kind of where the magic is with pushing those numbers and pushing yourself. So that'll conclude today's tips and instruction on the pull up. Um, I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, throw a comment down below. If you found this useful, hit me with a like. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Party.
Get it started, bitch. I'm a little older, like a fucking my mother truck.